Good morning. It's so good to see you all this morning, joining in as we pause at the nine o'clock hour. This morning, we spend some time in Lectio Divina, which simply means sacred reading, sacred listening of the text. I'm choosing uh, this morning to focus in on the text from the Psalms that are appointed for uh, this day in the um, Revised Common Lectionary. I'm choosing the Psalm because there are so many opportunities throughout our uh, state. I'm coming to you from upstate New York in my backyard in Albany for you to join in worship where you will hear the story, most likely today, hear the story of the triumphal entry into Jerusalem, uh, beginning us on this journey of Holy Week. So I'm choosing to spend some time with Psalm 31, which is the appointed Psalm for the day. What I'm noticing for myself in these days is that the Psalms are often still that place that I go in times where I don't really have the words to speak into the world or to God about how I am feeling. And so I sit with the Psalms and this one in particular gives us some words and some language to put to the lament of the world right now. That theme of lament is woven through our lives and our days always. And it seems though in these times when there is collective suffering, that's, that lament just bubbles up and through and we really notice the cord that it is that runs through our lives and the world. So today, as I frame this sacred listening time, I wanna take us back on, on Monday, I talked about Julian of Norwich and um, her body prayer. And so along with the text this morning, I'm gonna invite you into this sense of grounding yourself and noticing what's going on in your body. There were four words that Julian of Norwich created in um, her time when she was referring to the body prayer. Um, the first was a stance of a weight. So feeling yourself grounded, and you can feel grounded if you're sitting down, but if you wanna stand up and feel yourself grounded, this is how we're gonna start our sacred listening. Seems a little strange to start it with our body, but that's where I'm starting this morning. So sacred space of claiming that space and grounding yourself to the earth. She calls this position a weight, a weight. And then she moves into allow, that reach, feeling yourself reach, accept, and attend. So I invite you into that posture, and that's how we're going to listen to the scripture today. We're going to await what God does or does not reveal. We're going to allow whatever we notice to penetrate our hearts, to shimmer in front of us, and to feed us throughout the day accepting into ourselves what God is calling us to be about and to do in this world, in this life, in this now. And then we're gonna attend, attend to what is revealed even beyond this place. Sometimes these moments of Lectio Divina uh, inspire us and lodge in our brains and work on us throughout the day. So now we're going to listen to the text. And I want you to listen from that posture of awaiting and allowing. So I want you to await and allow and notice um, what comes to you, what words shimmer for you, what images really lodge into you, um, which speak to you this morning. I'm not going to be reading the whole psalm since we will be listening to it three different times. So I allow you to uh, encourage you to listen. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Take a moment. I encourage you to breathe deep. Maybe you haven't breathed 
yet this morning. I mean, you're breathing, you're alive, you're with me, but really feel it. Feel it in your whole body, in your lungs. Feel it fill you up. In the breathing, notice what you were calling to allow into you, to accept, to, to what you were maybe awaiting that you didn't even know. Let those words of the psalmist settle in you and notice this time as you have awaited and allowed into your spirit the words of the psalmist notice this time what you're being called to accept to accept and to trust psalm 31 in you O lord i take refuge do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge into your hand i commit my spirit you have redeemed me O lord faithful god again take a breath put your hand on your heart in that posture of accepting what was shimmering what words what do you need to accept into your space into your heart these days this day right now from those words the psalmist spoke so long ago probably saying so long ago accept Now this third time, I encourage you to notice what is shimmering for you that you need to attend to. That you go from this place carrying in your pocket. What words or images or intentions is God revealing to you today? Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame in your righteousness. Deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. So this last time, I hope you heard some words to attend to through this day, or not. God continually reveals ways forward. I encourage you to return to this text in your quiet moments this day and to reflect on what continues to shimmer for you. Notice it where it lands in your body. Pay attention. I'm going to ask that at the end here, we return to where we started, noticing that this psalm, this psalm of lament, grounds us as we await using Julian's body prayer helps us to allow what God might or might not be saying in this moment, to accept into our heart, into our heart space, into our lives, the commitments of God in this time and always, and to notice what we're being called to attend to in the world beyond ourselves. Now may God bless you and keep you. 
May Christ's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May God look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.